All right, here we go. This is the Build Strike Galaxy Cosmos with the Galaxy Booster attached to it. And once this backpack docks on here, it has greater speed, mobility, and also it can regulate its uh, RG slash star system better. And in the anime, it basically came just, it just docked immediately with the co um, Galaxy Cosmos. You know, as soon as it launched out, the Galaxy Boost came up and docked with it. And like I say, in this formation is where it is at its most powerful. Well, not this particular formation went, you know, as for the backpack, but once it docks on there, it is more powerful than it is just in, with the mobile suit alone. You know, it's faster. Uh, it's faster. It can maneuver better. Like I say, it can activate the system better. And you will see it probably... Uh, uh, I may not be accurate on how long you see this suit in particular, I mean, this form before it, it hits the, I guess some people can call it a galactic form, or I like to call it like a 12 point formation form. Because at one point it does fight the AZ to Gundam in this form, but after the, um, the AZ to Gundam, you know, has the advantage. The only way you can really break even is to go into its RG slash star system right away. So, with that being said, we are going to go. Listen, with that being said, I am going to change it into the 12 point formation. So, here we go. All right, and here we go. Now, here is the Galaxy Cosmos, and it's like, I guess you can call it its RG slash star, um, when the RG system and the star system is activated together. Now, this is the, co the Galaxy, ooh, I can't pronounce, I can't talk today, sorry. The Galaxy Cosmos. And it's in my uh straight try to straighten out. Uh, sorry, just me being um nitpicky trying to get yeah, okay. Well, I bet y'all saying just stop touching the thing. But um this is the Galaxy Cosmos, basically in its full power state, like I said, the RG system and the star system are activated simultaneously in this in this configuration and only when the system both the system are activated simultaneously will it assume this formation where the 12 rings are fully spread out they act as antennas i think i said this doing while i was talking about the galactic booster song by itself these 12 wings act like antennas to help the mobile suit control the particles better as a result the more powerful it is basically it's pretty much taking advantage of the the particles the plastic particles you thought it was taking advantage of it before now it's really doing it so basically what i find i tried to do the legs kind of like together like when it first activates it in the episode but i tried on both stands i tried it with this stand, but it didn't work. And I tried it here, and I figured I might as well try with this. So it don't gives a little more height and helps display the form better. And I may later on do a diorama. Well, it wouldn't be much of a diorama, but I may do a little scene, a little display where I have it. You know, do some poses against the uh, AZ, AZ Gundam. Oh no, basically it's the Amazing Zeta Gundam. 
Like I said, I have that kit, and when I get through with the Gundam 3.0, or as known as the RX-78-2, I will start on the AZ Gundam. But, you know, I kind of want to mix it up. Do a high grade, do a master grade, do a high grade, do a master grade, like that. And, you know, plus I have other kits I got to try to go through. Also, I pre-ordered the 00 Sky. So hopefully, um, you know, I ordered pre ordered Double O Sky, so it should come out sometime during August, which is basically tomorrow from the date that I'm recording this video. Because next week, from the recorded date of this video, would be my birthday. My birthday is August 10th. You know, so my birthday is next week, and uh. On August 10th. So if I get to see it, then I'll be another year older. And I'm hoping that the double O Sky does come on my birthday, but there's no guarantee. Really, I'm not that picky to be honest, because as long as it comes sometime during this month, that'd be good. I've been waiting on the double O Diver Ace to come out. It's supposed to come out next last month, which Probably for other places it has, but maybe where I order it at USA Gundam store, they're so they got so many pre-orders, you know, on it that well, I'm just not gonna get mine right now. But I know I am gonna get it because you know the store has come through before before. It's just been late, but I can understand it's a very popular mobile suit and the anime is going on right now. So you know, I I can understand it being a little late and I can live with that. But I guess uh, I do part again going off topic. But like I said, I did pan line the back here. Y'all already saw where I pan line it. It wasn't too much I can pan line. Now I know the stickers on the back of the, the boosters suck, especially the way I put on them. But if you want this kit, the the kit to look good, I would recommend painting. You know, paint the knee parts because these are stickers. Paint that. Which here and here you can get away with it. It's just that I had a hard time putting the stickers on the backpack. And that's why they look so tacky. And I do apologize for that. But me personally, if I was y'all and y'all could do it, y'all had the time and resources and all that, paint these. Don't don't use the stickers. Just paint these if you can. And also do if you can do a little pen line. Yeah, and make it so it's just to me it's just it's just one solid color almost except for the head of the booster. Other than that, it's just one solid white color. I wish it was like the uh so I think. Uh, I think they call the Star Build Strikes Booster the Universal Booster. I think it's called. If if I'm not wrong, you know, you can you know comment in the section below if I am wrong. You know what Star Build Strikes Booster was actually called. But I liked it that one because it had a it had it it, it had good color separation. As here, eh, you know, but you know it is what it is. Despite you know me just nitpicking. It does look kind of cool in the way. I just wish they put a little more color into it to help it out, help it pop out more. But all in all, you know, you know, it's it's still good. It just they could have did better. And when I say better, I'm not. I'm talking about you know the uh, the folks that an they animated this. You know, the the that made the booster and the anime could this more color separation. But you know, it is what it is. You do it, you go on. Still a good kit. Uh, I recommend buying it. Like I say, it's, it's a very good kit. I'm happy with it. You should get it. I bought mine for USA Gundam Store. Please go to them for all your Gundam need, your Gunpla needs. And my my verdict of the kit is buy it, buy it, buy it now. That's my verdict. It's a good kit. I like it. I enjoy building it. And my next one would be of the RX-78-2 3.0. This is Feel Good of Feel Good Gunpla. I wish everyone a good day. Later.